<sighs> yo what's good youtube i'm back with another warren dj video after a couple months of being gone and then posting that the um twitch clip by jay brizo shout out jay brizo but yeah this man dj is back in some more shit after his ex but yeah this time this man going after Deshay Frost. Now when I first seen this, I was like, what 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 is this man beefing with Deshay Frost for? But we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna get into all that because this it gets it, it, how YBN Almighty J got dragged into this. I don't even know how he got dragged into this, but so on um Instagram, I'm gonna have the um, picture pop up, the screenshots pop up. On Instagram, he uh first tweeted this. I mean, not tweeted it. So he posted on his um Instagram story. He said, "Uh, the Shea Frost at the Shea Frost fam, get out of my bitch DM, bro. I really beat the fuck out of you." Now that was at 2:37 p.m. That was at that was like yesterday, 2:37. So the next slide, he posted up a. Uh, that blicky and he got a drum on that thing Ooh -wee. he said he added just to shay and he said check dm little bro next slide we got these niggas got bitch tendencies how you trying to fuck on a bitch you gossip to question mark lame ass niggas that nigga show for sure was born with a pussy damn next slide we got Deshay Frost and he pinned a location that he was in Atlanta, Georgia on his Instagram story. I don't know why Deshay Frost did that. I Maybe Deshay Frost knows that he's intentionally doing this. I, I've never seen, I didn't know DJ had a girl. Is he getting back with his ex? Like, what girl is Deshay talking? I mean, what girl is D DJ talking about? But anyway, man, next slide. We go to I and delete shit, fuck 12, fuck that midget, and fuck you. <laughs> now, he's saying fuck that midget and fuck you. Like, is he talking about the girl that D Shay slid, slid in and DM? Like, who is he saying when he said fuck you? I don't know. Next slide. You telling a bitch to press charges, weak ass charges, I'm a get out on a signature bond and come beat your ass even if i gotta fly to cali and he posted his location buckhead atlanta and then he posted up a um, picture of i guess charges that he got charged with from i guess his ex or something like that upon the charges of simple battery and he got charged with criminal trespass next slide we got on oh god he not Nigga can act Hollywood all he want. He ain't gonna be able to tr deny v this vid I drop. So is this? So is Warren DJ gonna drop a vid, bro? Next slide. He posts up. He says, "Y'all gonna soon understand. I'm done talking. I don't know what he mean by that. Maybe he gonna drop a video. Just maybe. Next slide. On God, he don't. Nigga posting flowers and shit. He must be letting folks know what kind he want on his casket." I ain't gonna lie, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. Next slide. He said, I'll go get the shade, the leprechaun, myself if you drop a vid, nigga. And then he responded and said, sheesh, nah, I don't even want to shoot Lil Bro. I just want to punch that nigga in his forehead and take his watch and shit, none major. Damn, so he want to beat him up and rob him? Damn. That's tough. Next slide, we got, he was responding to another person on his Instagram. He responds and he says, you feel me? That watch ain't even my main focus. I'm trying to put little brother to sleep. And y'all know I'm going to record it. Just like when old girl set me up. Deshay need to go watch that video. Mm. Next slide. So uh, Deshay had posted up on his um story saying, who trying to film an ATL and DJ responded and said, let do it little man, check mark. Now from here, it goes on to um Twitter and he goes in, he says, I hope you got security at Deshay. Next slide. 
he responds to a video of this that Deshay posted while he was in Dubai. He said, Hey, little nigga, I know you see my DM. Stop acting like you like that pussy. I ain't that monkey or these other YouTube niggas. You better have security when I see you, because whatever you got on took, and I'm going to beat you to sleep? Mm, not about all that. Next slide. He says, that nigga a rat. He was responding to a person that was saying, DJ, what does Shay do? Next slide. Why being Almighty J responds to DJ and and posts the cap emoji? Why did why did J do this? Why did Almighty J do this? Why did he do this? I have no idea why he did this. I have no idea why he responded. I don't know if DJ met up with Almighty J. I don't know if J knows DJ. Or anything like that I don't know why he responded I guess he felt the need because he be hanging out with D DDG and Deshay like he hang around like the whole group in LA and shit like that but he responds to Jay and with all laughing emojis next slide we got he says oh yeah this is exactly what I wanted next slide we got hold on let me try this slide. So DJ tweeted out and said, "Nigga, public records tell it all. I've been on that, and I'm, I've been on that. Oh, okay. This, this, I'm still on that. If a nigga thinks shit's sweet, all right. That now gave me a fucking headache. All right, next slide. All right, you can see three posts that he did right here. These three posts I'm gonna read off right here. So." Why D DJ retweeted um, Almighty J. He put the tornado emoji. Then DJ retweeted when Almighty J got jumped in LA by some goons. They snatched his chain, took his wallet, and shit like that. Man, if you ain't see the video, I don't know if I should put the video right up there. It's gonna get probably get flat. But if you didn't see that video of D of that nigga Almighty J get jumped in LA, oof, oof. And then DJ tweeted again and said, MF said again. Next slide. So he replied to um, Jay after he tweeted, we don't leave no paper 12 trails. If it's up, just leave it there. And DJ replied and he said, fam, you got imaginary beef with me? I don't even know you. Nigga like me will tweet about that shit and still shoot you. I don't give a fuck about 12. I'm really throwed off in my lawyer. Dad. Nigga. Ooh. -wee. So I don't know where all this where all the beef with Almighty J came from. The beef with Deshay, he said that he has slid in his girl DM. I don't know what girl he's talking about. Is he talking about his ex? Like, is he, is he back with his ex behind the scene? Because he haven't been tweeting nothing about him back, getting back with his ex on no social media. I haven't seen none of that. Now, it may be, he, may, may be his ex, but why would Deshay DM his ex? Is he trying to start shit with DJ? I don't know. I don't know. And since Deshay is in ATL, is, is in ATL right now, I don't know. He 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 probably got security with him. Probably probably not. I don't I don't too much know about that. But as of right now, it's been quiet on both sides. DJ and tweet shit ain't um, put nothing on his story yet. He the rest of the um stuff that he put on Twitter was he was just liking people's replies and just retweeting shit saying that don't fuck with dj uh all that other shit but man tell me what y'all think about this shit y'all think dj gonna drop a video i don't think anything gonna happen to this shay i don't think anything gonna happen to almighty J. if anything he'll just post some more shit on instagram and that'll be it but what girl is he talking about if anybody know what girl dj is talking about that this dm let me know bro because i'm still confused about all that 
be three two for Prezi. Yeah. Took this shit and made it cool, bitch. I might die a legend. Bitch, ain't nothing new. We still past 67. And they know I made my way with no big homies, so they know I'm different. Lil' nigga, you still can't feel it. Lil' nigga, don't know this feeling. Bitch, nigga, know how we coming. He ain't tryna make shit. He don't want it.